Greetings and welcome to the Data Armory. Now, according to WSB TV, this is a news article that was written on August 3, 2022. New lawsuit alleges online programming bootcamp is fooling students. According to the article, a new lawsuit alleges that an online programming bootcamp charges students hefty fees, makes big promises, but does not provide what students paid for. And the reason why we are doing this video is that you don't fall for a coding scam which does not provide what you have paid for. Now, according to this news article, is that in eye-catching and entertaining videos on YouTube and ads on social media, companies out there, we don't want to um, name names, companies out there claim that their coding training programs can lead to six-figure jobs with top companies like Apple, Google, and uh, Netflix and this is something that is not new. These scams, they are, they are not new in the programming field. If we look at this article uh, again, this is from uh, Inc. Africa. It says coding bootcamps shaken by alleged $100,000 scam after students allege that a rogue bootcamp founder scammed them out of $100,000 in tuition. Now, other bootcamps, other Bootcamps say more regulation and transparency are needed to protect students. Now, do these scams mean that every coding bootcamp outside there is a scam? No. And uh, actually looking at this article, it says that the episode is by far the biggest alleged fraud in the young history of the market, but it threatens to ruin the integrity of other coding bootcamps, which means that there are other coding bootcamps which are built on the foundations of integrity just that these coding scams are ruining their integrity and the reason why we are doing this video again is that so that you don't fall for these coding bootcamp scams or these online courses that are a scam and become uh, become uh, things that do not offer value for your money and these are discussion that has been there all along as we have said and even if you even if you go to Twitter, uh, these are things that people have been talking about time and again. Like, for example, Goopy says that the urge to fall for a coding bootcamp scam and skip college, even though I might not get a job afterwards, is very real. And I know this might be your experience, that you have that urge to fall for a coding bootcamp, even if it is a, it is a scam. And the reason why we are doing this video is that at least to, to bring awareness that there are some coding bootcamps which are a scam. And as she says that some of them have even urged people to skip college, even though they might not get a job at all afterwards. So uh, going to another account here, this is Danny Thompson can go to Twitter and find him out. He says this, he says, influencers screwing people over just sucks, which means that as a programming student or as a beginner in the programming field is that you should be aware that, that there are influencers who are screwing people outside there and you should not fall for them. Now, the other day, Danny mentioned how someone was charging people 250 per month for some pre-recorded videos that will help you become a developer and get a job in tech. And this conversation becomes even more important when you have to pay for a course or when you are going to pay for something. I'm not talking about people, uh, I'm not talking about a situation whereby you are, well, you are getting something for free. It gets even more important when you have to pay for something. And also, even if it's for free, it must be something that gives you value for your time. Because here, the, the, the two issues are value for money and value for, for your time. But here, the main focus here is when you get outside there to pay for something that does not offer value for money. And here, according to Danny Thompson, is that they are influencers who are screwing, screwing people. And uh, if you continue with uh, this thread, now it says about a person who just purchased the course and asked for a, re for a refund and they were immediately blocked. Now, I guess they had a change of heart after seeing some posts or maybe they thought about it and gave them their money back. Now, he says that, please stop stop falling for this stuff, ye all, please. Now, uh, again here about uh, these scams, uh, it says, it's easy not to fall into the, it's easy not to fall into the influencer scam pit. Never pay for something when you can get it for free. Uh -huh. Interesting. And if you decide to pay for something, never pay 
per month. Never pay $100, never pay $50, at most pay $25 per month, only if they offer free trial first. I know different people will have different views on this, but the bottom line here is that don't pay for something that, that does not offer you value for money because there are some who charge expensively but they offer you value for money and that's why it's important to know how how do I how do I know which uh, online course is good we should be doing a video on that how to know an online course which is good and which offers value for money but the bottom line here is that you should be careful before you give out your money to an online coding bootcamp uh, because uh, some of them are scams now again Dami, da, Danny Thompson again says that when learning to code, there are some great inexpensive options. And as a beginner who seeks to learn how to code, you should know that there are some great inexpensive options and some very expensive options. And, and we have said about that, that there are some very expensive options. It does not mean that uh, just because it's expensive, it's a scam. No, there are some very expensive options, options but are good. What we are trying to avoid is those expensive options that, that do not offer value for money. So according to Danny, is that when learning to code, there are some great inexpensive options and some very expensive options. Now, but if a course is charging you $250 a month and it is just recorded videos of a person, I will save, I will save your money and use trusted resources that are more reasonably priced instead. And again here, it brings in the, the issue that, that it's not about you not using your money. No, it's about using your money whereby you get value for your money. Because here, as he says, that I will save, I will save your money and use trusted resources that are more reasonably priced instead. And that is why as a student who is seeking to break into the coding field, it's important to use your money on trusted resources. And we'll be getting into uh, that Again, and here someone asked, please suggest for me, and he suggests a free way to start is Free Code Camp. Go and check out Free, free Code Camp on YouTube. Now it says, at this point, you are better off finding videos on YouTube from popular names in the, in the industry. At this point, you are better off finding videos on YouTube from popular names in the industry. And by the way, it does not also mean that just because uh, a, 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 a company or a channel is popular that it offers value for money. The, that, that is also, uh, I know, is also subject to discussion. It depends on how you look at it, but popularity does not mean uh, value, and we shall uh, get into uh, that. So go and read this thread and look at how people are discussing this and the experiences that they give so that you should, you should know better because that is the reason why we are doing these uh, videos, so that you should, not, you should know better and don't fall for a scam. But now, what do we, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Now, according to Christopher, this is a post on uh, September 30th, 2019. So you see this is a conversation that has been going on. It says, don't, don't fall for a scam. Don't fall for a scam promising to make you a data scientist in two weeks. Uh -huh. Now you see the red flags. You get a course that promises to make you a data scientist in two weeks, which is almost uh, next to impossible. That's not going to happen. Take free courses offered by companies like Udacity, Coursera, Google, Microsoft, edX, and take a look at the many free or inexpensive data science books available. So he offers a clue. Christopher offers a clue on how to go around about it as a as a as a, as a beginner, so that you don't fall for for a scam. It does not mean that only Udacity, Coursera, Google, Microsoft, and edX are the ones who are offering offering quality for value. There are other good ones that also offer uh, quality for uh, value for, for your money. This is just an example of some of the, of, the, of the best, like Udacity, Coursera, Google, Microsoft, edX, and such likes. Now, he continues to say that it will take time, and that's why, and you should know that, that it will take time. Focus on languages like Python, R, and SQL. Start with simple methodologies like linear and logistic regression. Uh, this when you are in the machine learning field. And keep a notebook in your questions, of your questions and ideas pick problems that interest you active models and we have talked about this time and again that the best way to learning to to learn is by by building this is called active learning you can see that video up there uh, about uh, the best way to learn data science now he continues that Kaggle is a great resource for learning data science with its interesting data sets discussion forums 
and code example. Now, if you want to be a great at a scientist, the hardest part will be learning the math. Make a plan, stick to it, and be patient. And these what some of these coding scams don't sell you. They don't, they don't, they don't sell you the aspect of patience. It's, a, it's like a get rich quick scam. They say, make a plan, stick to it. Uh, he says, Christopher says, I beg your pardon. Christopher says that make a plan, stick to it, and be patient. Patience is key. There are no shortcuts when it comes to understanding math. And the same applies to data science as a, as a, as a whole. That there are no shortcuts, shortcuts when it comes to learning uh, programming or when it comes to learning data science or when it comes to learning software development. In all this, just like he says about math, is that you should make a plan, you should stick to it, and you should be patient. Now, a personal recommendation is that for many people, sports data is particular, particularly interesting area for beginners to use for learning projects. Data is readily, readily available and is fun to build and test models and predict upcoming matches. That is that. Now, talking about these coding bootcamp scams or uh, online courses scams, now there is a Twitter user who here who says that they are new get rich quick scams. They appeal to our most basic desire to possess. That's why they work. And the reason why we are doing this video is that you don't fall for these get rich quick scams. Is that so that is that so you should be, you should be wary of these coding boot camps that you have appeal to your most basic desire to possess, and uh, you in the end uh, lose your hard earned money. Now at least there are some also who try to give tips on how to avoid these uh, get rich quick scams that are that are quickly infl infiltrating the programming industry. Now, according to Langford, he says, do this so you don't fall for scam coding bootcamps. He says, for you not to fall for these uh, scams, pay attention to what they promised. Pay attention to what they promised. You can't learn and master coding in one to two months. You can't. If a company promises to do that, consider it's a red flag. And remember, when you talk about uh, coding or when you talk about data science, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And you get that some of these, just as we read in this, in this, in this article, we read in this article that they make eye-catching and entertaining videos on YouTube and ads on social media. And they claim that their coding training bootcamps can lead to six-figure jobs with top companies like Apple and Google in the shortest time possible. And that's why here... This news article says that to imply that you can learn this stuff in half a year and go out and make that kind of money is frankly false. And the problem is if you aren't in the programming space, you don't know any better. You think this is true. And that's why here Langford says that you should pay attention to what they, they promise. Now, number two, second, the second tip is that always check online reviews. Online reviews will give you a clear picture on how people feel about a bootcamp. From there, you can choose to either join or not. Asking for personal feedback also helps. That's another important tip that you should check for online, online reviews. You should check for online reviews. Now, again, here is that you should weigh your options. There are other ways to learn coding without paying a dime. As well, as, as well there are numerous legit channels providing legit training like Free Code Camp. Look at Bigger Picture and Go with your guts and you have talked about this that there are some inexpensive ways of learning free videos online and that's why we have said that this discussion gets even more interesting whereby your money is at is at stake but uh besides that there are very many free uh learning resources outside there on youtube there are there are websites there are very many uh mocks outside there is it mocks or mocks now again tip number four it says just because popularity is not quality just because something is popular even if it got hundreds of thousands of reviews and it has become popular because here we have say we have said that always check online reviews even if it has got millions of reviews popularity does not always mean quality and that's why you must you must take it through these steps that he suggests here and others that as as we shall be giving in our future video just because a particular bootcamp is popular doesn't mean it provides quality education do your background checks before throwing out your hard-earned cash at these companies. And that's why this again brings back the discussion of should we avoid universities when we want to learn coding? Should we avoid colleges and go for boot camps and go for self-taught programs? That's another interesting discussion. And when you look at the bigger picture, is that at least where there is a, there is a 
at least where there is a, a curriculum that has been tried and tested, you are less likely, you are less likely to be to fall for, for a scam. And that's where at the advantage of colleges and universities come in. Doesn't mean that they are the only way of learning, but at least they are some of the of the of the trusted ways of learning. And we have a video top there which talks about uh, the same. You can go and check. Uh, I think it's the last portions of the of the of the video which talks about should you avoid uh, uh, universities or should you avoid a degree where you're learning to code or should you go for a degree or should you just be a self-taught or go for coding boot camps and and to break into the data science field go and check that video there the very last portions of the video there is something on that but we intend to make another video that strictly handles that now according to Langford again he says check out free ways to learn fast and this is very recommendable is that you should always check out free ways to learn fast because uh, here your money is at set. YouTube, Twitter, Showcase, Hashnode, etc. People on these platforms provide quality content to help you learn coding for free. Always find a cheaper, free alternative to do something before switching to a paid option. Mm. Always find a free, cheaper, uh, always find a cheaper, free alternative to do something before switching to a paid option. Now, here is a sum, uh, a sum of uh, this thread. Pay attention to what they promise. Always check only reviews, weigh your options, popularity is not equal to quality, check out free ways to learn fast. So that has been our video today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and don't also forget to leave your view down in the comment section below. You have a good day.